Um, what we tend what we tend to do is uh, having an RDM controller, which is made for the customer on stage, the end user, not a technical device which shows uh, unique IDs and stuff like that, but more a handy tool to just helps to set up. I can show you how it works. It's going to be difficult. Just go to RDM menu and he scans uh, the, um, the rig. Now we found automatically 10 devices which are connected and it's, it's hot plug. So if you unplug it, it will show your uh, they're not uh, available. You plug it in to show each device is connected or not. You can go through the, the list of device phones. The device, the selected device, is automatically identified and uh, set to the mix address just by modified address. Press OK. And you one next uh, are you? The DMX address is updated. Um, we have a special mode just for patching. So if you go to the uh, installation and you want to patch, instead you go step by step to, through the whole device, just plug in the tool, select the order, this is the first one, this is the second, and it will patch automatically through the Atemix uh, addresses. It's, it's a, I know it's a little bit a small display for so many people, Um, we have also the functionality to uh, make a uh, change of the personalities of the fixtures. We have uh, pan, tilt, invert, basic functions of the RDM. And it, it works also with the um, well, dem wireless DEMIX, uh, which are um, what's it called? Proxy. proxies. We spend a lot of time that it works also with proxies fast enough because with a proxy RDM is getting slower so we manage to have a user interface uh, so we get only the information we need right now for users so we can accelerate work with uh, I'll have a look. this. So to work with wireless you plug the cable into the wireless transmitter and that's how it works yeah. with wireless? If, if, you, if you use a wireless uh, system yeah. The wireless is not fast enough to, to handle the RDM in real time, so it, it's a proxy. Oh, I see. Okay. And uh, it's not that easy to handle all the, the settings yeah. through a proxy. Yeah. So we spend so it works with without the wireless, without changing any settings. Just plug and play. Another thing about the device is that what we want to do is provide a tool for end users that makes RDM kind of like a no-brainer and it's kind of a middle ground between manufacturers and end users to meet with a protocol that really yeah, has a lot of function and has a lot of ability as far as making you know lighting more efficient quicker better for people and stuff like that um, does it have the fixture libraries in it too, like the XMT120? Like the XMT120, you can actually upload your fixture libraries. And of course, if you're using RDM, each device already has its library on board that device. So with the functionality of RDM, you're actually retrieving stuff off of that lamp or off of that fixture and, uh, and working with it. So, you know, again, it's, um, it just, it's, it's, it's almost like a Swiss Army knife for lighting and RDM and DMX. Like it really does enable you to have a lot of functionality, cable testing, sending DMX, receiving DMX, um, getting timings, uh, channel tracing. So if you want to do flicker finder on there, you can do that as well. So there's a lot of a lot of really good features on the device. And since it is so portable and well priced, we think that it really is going to open up people to being more receptive to RD RDM in general because it's not this big enigma. Because currently, when you think about it, I mean, a lot of people are intimidated that don't understand RDM quite as much. If you have a device that's more or less plug and play, I mean, you pop in your line to that device, and you can see immediately, you know, like, what you have, what you don't have, if those fixtures go down, they get unplugged, what have you, immediately they drop off your skin, or off your uh, screen, and you're able to, to go ahead and get stuff taken care of that way.